You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, just back from the wonderful CNA Fest in Little Rock, Arkansas. I want to thank NACA and all the CNA members in attendance for the graciousness they showed the old gentleman poet. I have a great show for you today. And if you're not already subscribed to CNA TV, do me a big favor and hit the subscribe button down below. As you may know, I've often talked in my shows about Doc McCracken. I always remember him saying, whatever a person decides to make their life's work, money is not the most important. Loving what you do is. And Doc McCracken definitely loved what he did. Caring for people just like NACA and CNAs do. There was no better example of loving what you do than the old cow hand, Tom Blazingame, who, as a child, dreamed of working on a ranch. At 18 years of age, in 1916, he headed out to the Texas Panhandle and hired on to the famous J.A. Ranch, the spread started by Charles Goodnight. The J.A. Ranch was the biggest ranch in Texas, Panhandle, with well in excess of one million acres. Wow! It was a paradise for Tom. On a usual work day, Tom would ride 100 miles. And besides working the cows, he found he had a knack for breaking horses. And he would take part in breaking 40 of the four-year-old colts every spring. Tom said, I never hit the horses much when I was breaking them, maybe a little slap on the neck or something just to let them know they did something wrong. A horse is pretty smart. He knows when you're abusing him and when you're not. Tom lived in an old bunkhouse on the spread with no phone, no electricity, his lone luxury being a transistor radio. He visited his wife, Eleanor, on the weekends, just north of the ranch. Tom didn't drink, smoke, or gamble, like most of the hands. He figured it took focus off the job. He did like to chew tobacco, though, but he even quit that to save his teeth so he could still eat the beef jerky. <laughs> On December 27, 1989, Tom climbed off his horse, Riadosa, laid down on the grass, folded his arms across his chest, and died. When word got back to the rest of the cow hands, not one of those rough and tough cowboys had a dry eye. Tom died just two months shy of his 92nd birthday, having worked the ranch for 73 of those years. He lay there, arms folded, with a wry smile, having loved every minute of the work he did for those 73 years on the beloved ranch where he is buried today next to Eleanor. Hmm. Many things. 
will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 And for any of you CNAs out there watching that aren't NACA members yet, follow the link below to become a member. You'll be happy you did. I'll see you next week, friends. Well then, this is John Willard from the farm.